The bustling city of Tempest was a symphony of ticking clocks and ringing bells, where time flowed steadily like a river. But one morning, as the sun began its ascent, the city awoke to an unsettling silence. The great clock tower at the city's heart, once a vibrant centerpiece, stood frozen, its hands locked in place. News of the frozen clock spread like wildfire, and concerned whispers echoed through the cobblestone streets. People glanced anxiously at their wristwatches, realizing that time itself had come to a standstill. Among those puzzled faces were Alex and Luna, drawn to Tempest by the enigmatic aura that hung in the air. As they approached the clock tower, a feeling of unease washed over them. Alex's fingers brushed against the cold metal of the clock's hands, and Luna's ears twitched as if sensing an underlying mystery. It was clear that they were meant to play a role in unraveling the clock tower's secret. A lone figure emerged from the shadows, clad in tattered robes. He introduced himself as Professor Eldritch, a brilliant horologist who had dedicated his life to studying time itself. With a sense of urgency, he explained that the clock tower's timeless state was a result of a long-forgotten enchantment, and only by collecting the lost time gems scattered across the city could time be set right. With a newfound purpose, Alex and Luna set out to explore the intricate web of Tempest. They roamed through bustling markets, wandered down hidden alleyways, and climbed winding staircases that led to breathtaking viewpoints. Along the way, they encountered quirky shopkeepers, helpful street performers, and playful cats who seemed to share Luna's spirited nature. Each time Jem presented a unique challenge, a puzzle to be solved, or a riddle to be unraveled. They ventured deep into a clockwork maze, piecing together gears and levers to reveal the hidden gem. They deciphered an intricate pattern of chimes that echoed through a bell tower, revealing another gem's hiding place. And in a hidden garden, they rearranged towering sundials to cast a golden ray of sunlight onto a sparkling gem. With each gem they collected, the clock tower's hands twitched and shuddered, hinting at the eventual restoration of time itself. As the final gem clicked into place, a symphony of chimes rang out, echoing through Tempest like a triumphant crescendo. With a thunderous roar, the clock tower came to life once more. Its gears whirred, its pendulum swung, and time flowed like a steady stream once again. The city burst into cheers as people laughed, danced, and clapped their hands in jubilation. In the midst of the celebration, Professor Eldritch approached Alex and Luna with a humble smile. Grateful for their unwavering determination and keen problem-solving skills, he presented them with a glowing hourglass, a symbol of their heroic efforts and a token of the city's eternal gratitude. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm golden glow across Tempest, Alex and Luna exchanged knowing glances. Their adventure in Tempest had not only restored the flow of time, but had also woven a tale of friendship courage, and the indomitable spirit of exploration. And as the stars blinked into existence one by one, they knew that their journey was far from over. With the promise of countless horizons waiting to be discovered, Alex and Luna nestled beneath a patchwork quilt of dreams, their hearts ablaze with the anticipation of the next magical adventure that awaited them.